Have you heard of bioluminescent bays? They are a spectacle that you have to see and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. There are only five in the entire world and three of those are in Puerto Rico. I'm going to tell you a little about the science behind bioluminescent bays and then I'm gonna to explain to you how to photograph them. Come along. Welcome to VO's Travel. Where to go and what to see. With kids. <laughs> or without. Okay, what is a bioluminescent bay? A bioluminescent bay has microscopic organisms called dinoflagellates. In fact, there are dinoflagellates all over the oceans and all over the world, but in bioluminescent bays, the concentration of those microscopic organisms is so dense that you can actually see them when they glow. These microscopic organisms light up when the water is disturbed, kind of like the same reaction a firefly has. And this chemical reaction is called bioluminescence. I need to give a shout out to Matt Miller Film. All of the video I have used so far is his film and he is an amazing photographer. So make sure you check out his website. I'll also link it in the description below. I will show you some of the film and video I took and it is nothing compared to this, but he has captured the bio bay so amazingly well. And this is actually what it looks like to swim in the bio bays. Okay, now how to photograph it. It's not easy. Matt Miller uses a Sony a7 III camera with a Sigma 24 1.4 lens. He's obviously very talented and not all of us have that kind of equipment, but that's what he used. And he got, like I said, amazing footage. That's actually what it's like. When I was researching this before our trip, I was told that an iPhone 15 Pro will get you decent pictures and video. I have an iPhone 14 Pro and let me show you what that did. So this is a picture of putting your hand in the water as the boat was going by. That's the footage that I got. And then these are pictures of my family members in the water splashing around. You can kind of make out bodies, but not too well, especially compared to what Matt Miller does. And then this is the video I got of my kids jumping into the water with my iPhone 14 Pro. So I suggest if you try videoing it with your own phone or camera, get something nice like Matt Miller does, or at least an iPhone 15 Pro or better. And then this is video of my hand in the water as the boat was um, leaving the bio bay. And then a way to enhance your photos. This is what I got to begin with, but if you bump up the exposure, if you bump up the shadows and you bump up the brightness, it will enhance your picture and make it look a lot better than it will originally. So if you get discouraged with what you first shot, after you get back to edit your photos, do those things and it will make it a little bit brighter and make your pictures just a little bit better than they were to start with. I wanna thank Matt Miller again for allowing me to use his footage cause it is just absolutely breathtaking. Go check out his YouTube channel. He has an Instagram, he has a website. I will link all of those in the description. Thank you so much for watching my video. I have a lot of videos about where to stay in San Juan, where to stay in Ponce, things to do. We found a private swimming hole with a waterfall that was absolutely beautiful. We spent a full week in Puerto Rico and it was one of the best trips ever. So make sure you check out the videos I already have posted. Look for more to come. And as always, I hope that you remember to choose joy and take all of the pictures.